it was pretty pretty daunting that that first I guess always like seeing seeing the size of the wall and the scope of the wall I was walking past it before we started painting and, and walking past it just kind of like doing a bit of exposure therapy of like being like okay this is where we're going to be for a week um, really helps <laughs> mentally to repair. I didn't actually know that much about Ronald McDonald House Charities or how big and expensive the charity actually is. Meeting up with the family members and the staff and I think that was really exciting that it was such an integral part of that concept development process. I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity to do workshops with community members who live around the wall, which is a really special thing to be able to have that insight for the people who will be seeing the wall every day or who are in the community. And I think bringing in the art, art making, so bringing in some materials so that family members can share their stories or draw or communicate their personal connection to this place or their personal histories associated with the charity. Some of the collages that, that some people came up with, the meaning that they drew from the symbols that they'd chosen or the colours that they'd chosen and how that linked into their memories of home and how far they have to travel to look after their little ones and bring them here. And, and I guess that excitement of when they do return home to these regional parts of Australia. So, um, and, and remembering, I guess, one of the kids had these drawings of, of all of the different Australian animals that they remember seeing in their backyard. So it was a really powerful way to get some of the symbolism, some of, um, yeah, some of that insight into all of, all of the meaning that they think of when they think of this place.